myself, Dr. Supriya T. Kale. Um, I have done my master's in physiotherapy, specializing in neuromusculoskeletal physiotherapy, which is basically orthopedic physiotherapy in India from uh, Coventry University in UK. I have two published articles. One is published in a UK journal and one is published in American journal. Both of them are focusing on physiotherapy treatments on different musculoskeletal or orthopedic issues. I've also done various courses in uh, UK uh, like Pilates, acupuncture, muscle energy techniques. Um, I was working in UK for past six years and I recently moved back to India. Basically, physiotherapy is a treatment of any disease, disorder or pathology uh, using physical, uh, scientifically proven physical, uh, physical techniques like any hands-on technique or any soft tissue technique, uh, also scientifically proven exercises patient awareness and education. So basically physiotherapy, physiotherapist does everything apart from prescribing drugs or any doing surgeries. Multidisciplinary team involves everyone, all the consultants, means, you know, it can be orthopedic, cardiologist, uh, neurologist, all the consultants along with that physiotherapist, uh, speech therapist, uh, podiatrician, basically the one who deals with uh, medically customized insoles or footwears, uh, speech therapist, occupational therapist, dietitian. Uh, in a simple word, I will say everyone who is involved in a holistic approach that is needed for any kind of a recovery in any kind of a patient. Physiotherapy helps to a greater extent. Uh, as a clinician, we highly recommend all the patients to see or to seek any medical treatment in the acute phase, that is when you have the backache, when it is worse, when it's severe, because uh, the chances of getting better during that period is higher compared to when it gets chronic. So physiotherapists, when you see any physiotherapist or any clinician during your acute phase or during your severe backache, they deal with various um, uh, techniques which can involve uh, taping, uh, which can involve some basic exercises, giving a lot of advices, a lot of education how to deal with it and also giving you a lot of advices to prevent any further damage. And then later on when you go on a recovery phase, they help you a lot to get back to your normal life. I would like to correct that, that exercises is not only helpful for backache, it's helpful for everything. From headache till toe pain, everything. Exercises are important to maintain the health of your body, uh, also to get back to your normal life after any kind of an injury or any kind of a disease or any kind of a surgery or rehabilitation. So in all these aspects, exercise is very important and it's not only important when you have any kind of a pain or any kind of a problem, you should always keep on doing exercises to maintain a healthy lifestyle. There isn't anything like this is the best exercise for backache. Uh, it varies. Some people come with the, uh, with uh, injuries with their disc. Someone come because of postural issues. Someone comes because of any kind of movement that has flared up their backache. So we cannot say that this exercise is the best one. A clinician will examine you properly. They will see what's the problem. And on basis of that, they will give you an appropriate exercises, which will be really helpful for you. So there isn't anything that this is the best exercise and I'll keep on doing this one to prevent any backache or any kind of issues related to your health so it's like that again this depends on the scenario uh, usually as a clinician uh, we advise um, having a cold uh, cold application during the acute phase that is uh, 48 to 72 hours when you have that incident or any kind of an accident when your back pain has flared up so we recommend cold which helps in taking care of that spasm and when you go in a chronic stage like it is after let's take it four or five days or even six to seven days then we suggest heat but again as I said nothing is written anywhere it all depends what the clinician finds when you come for an examination so basically the rough thing that we say as an advice whenever we have to give it to the patient is whenever you have an accident you go use cold pack in the initial 72 hours and then later on if you feel that you can bear the heat 
you can go forward it so it all depends how much or what you can bear during that situation It depends what, what, for what the surgeon wants to recommend the surgery. Uh, there isn't anything that surgery is done for the backache or any kind of issues. Uh, usually consultants take surgery as a last resolution. They never recommend any surgery whenever they see the patient on the first go. It all depends why is it needed. There's a big question that needs to be answered why it is needed because at last it's an invasive treatment that is a patient is opened up and the chances in that of getting an infection or any kind of a complication is very high so all these things are taken into consideration whenever a surgery is recommended but again surgery is not the solution for all the problem it all depends on what the clinician finds during the examination and why they are recommending for the surgery Before surgery or after surgery, the most important thing is having a healthy lifestyle. Now, when I say a healthy lifestyle, it involves proper exercises which are medically proven, not just doing the exercises by watching any kind of a YouTube video as someone has recommended. Doing a properly scientifically proven or exercises given by the consultant or by the physiotherapist, um, having a proper diet. So having a healthy lifestyle uh, on the context of the uh, food and as much as you can stay away from any kind of a stress. Stay, give priority to your health rather than giving priority to your work. I do understand work is very important but prioritizing your health will, um, uh, will be a lot more beneficial if you're going for any kind of surgery. And even after surgery, again, we recommend is uh, speaking to your consultant and see going back to your normal lifestyle, which involves exercising, proper food, and uh, getting back to your normal life, I will highly recommend rather than just staying at home and just saying it hurts, it hurts, that's not gonna help. So proper exercises and a balanced diet is very important before or after surgery. Now, as I said, surgery is recommended only if it's really needed. The big question is answered why it is needed. So, as I said, surgeons keep surgery as a last option because the recovery after surgery, again, it depends on how the patient is. The recovery period can lengthen due to any circumstances like there can be a complication or the person had a sedentary lifestyle before surgery so all these things are taken into consideration so we can't say that it takes one month or two months or three months it varies individual to individual and it also depends on the lifestyle on which the, the person or the patient was having before the surgery so all these factors comes into consideration whenever anyone is said that, that you will need three months or four months so it, there is nothing stipulated time period that this much time is needed for you to go back to your normal life. Uh, very difficult to say because again I said it all depends on your lifestyle. If you were like, if you were into exercising and a proper health and everything before your surgery, again, it, I said, if there are no other complications, again, take into consideration that it was the person was healthy and was into exercises and due to certain reason he was recommended surgery. After that, again, the chances are higher. So it, you can't say that these many percentages are good or these many percentages bad. It varies individual to individual, but it's very difficult to answer that. It's not important to just focus on the back, but it's very important to focus on the whole body from head to toe. So whenever um, you're thinking about maintaining or keeping any joint healthy, think in a holistic approach that you need the whole body, not just that segment or that part of the body. So when you are thinking about maintaining a health of any joint or your body, again, going back to uh, any kind of a good exercises, again, scientifically proven and uh, suggested by a physiotherapist or the clinician, uh, going back to sports, enjoying whatever you like, get into that uh, more of a mobility kind of a thing, avoid much of sedentary lifestyle like where you're sitting more. If your job involves a lot of sitting, see to that you keep on changing your position every now and then, stay hydrated, uh, have a good balanced diet, read books, 
and uh, see to that you have you are away from the stress as much as you can and again prioritizing your health on work is more important Acupuncture has two theories. Uh, one is a traditional Chinese medicine theory, in which it is said uh, that um, in in human body there is always a positive and negative energy flowing through the body, and it flows through certain channels in the body. Now, whenever there is an imbalance in this positive and negative energy, people start to get these aches and pains and all these muscular orthopedic disorders. So, what acupuncture has done is a needle is used. to uh, stabilize that energy by stimulating those channels now again this is very traditional uh, chinese medical theory there is no strong evidence for it uh, the reason why acupuncture is majorly used in western countries is because it has shown scientifically that it helps in healing those disorders or whatever injury there is whichever part acupuncture is applied it helps in fastening the healing process over there by improving the blood circulation and deactivating those parts of the brain which has been activated due to pain so because of these theories it's been used majorly in the western countries now as i said there are two theories on which acupuncture is applied uh if you follow the traditional chinese medicine therapy um it's used almost for everything from infertility to um uh, headaches or neurological issues so it's used almost for everything but if you go on a western country the reason why it is used is majorly used for any musculoskeletal or orthopedic issues like headaches back aches shoulder pain anything that involves the body pain so it varies on which principle of the person or the clinician is using the acupuncture uh again the basic thing is avoid staying in one position whichever it can be see to that you keep on moving after every 45 minutes if you have a, a desk based job see to that you set up an alarm that after every certain amount of time just move around stay hydrated don't stay away from the water stay hydrated go back to sports anything that you like yeah, go back to your hobbies uh, prioritize your health have a balanced and healthy diet and again i'll rephrase it health stands on the priority rather than anything so that's uh, one advice that i would like to give to everyone find connect and follow me on medicalwale.com aapke health ka sathi